With how many electric scooters we ride and review every year, we don't often get a chance to use electric scooters regularly for extended periods of time. The Fluid Horizon is advertised as an all-arounder scooter, a good balance of performance and price designed for a daily commute. We thought it would be the perfect candidate to rack up some extra mileage on and see if it holds up to daily use and abuse. This is also the most reviewed scooter on the Fluid website, and there are a number of reviews talking about putting a thousand plus miles on the scooter with no issues. The Horizon has been around for a few years now with it getting a refresh in 2022. It has a tested top speed of just under 22 miles an hour, plus full telescoping, folding handlebars, and a weight of just over 40 pounds, which makes its performance to portability ratio really decent. With it starting at $800 for the smaller battery version, this is priced really competitively considering everything that you get at the price point. For a deeper dive into the features and performance numbers of the 2022 version of the Horizon, you can check out our full review down in the description, but let's talk about now how it's held up for the past couple years. Let's start with the good. First, it's had no major mechanical issues and we haven't even had to deal with a flat tire. One unique feature that has helped with this is the solid rear tire. This lets you not have to worry about getting a flat on the motor wheel. The front tire is pneumatic, which gives you the benefits of air-filled tires where it matters the most. It also would be very easy to change out a flat on the front tire thanks to the split rim. The throttle has remained nice and smooth and reliable. Sometimes the throttle will get gummed up or loosen over time, but this one actually has been great. I live on the second floor, so the handle on the deck has been extremely useful for carrying it up and down the stairs when I test. I thought that I would use this more as a rear footrest, but I actually found it more comfortable to keep my rear foot flat on the deck with this scooter. It has been nice to have this back handle as an option, however. This has a bit of an older folding mechanism, but it has held up well to folding and unfolding and has not loosened up any noticeable amount over time. I've also been impressed with how the braking has held up over time. Despite having just a single brake lever and a single rear drum brake, it still stops quickly and I can even lock up the rear wheel if I want, which is something you can't often do with drum brakes. I've also stayed content with the acceleration and speed. Despite my time on this and many other fast scooters, I still feel like anything over 20 miles an hour is a really good speed. This still gets you around in a timely manner and is fun to ride recreationally. The paint finish has also allowed the scooter to age gracefully, hiding dirt and scratches really well. It's been rainy around where I live recently, and it's been really nice to be able to take this for a ride or a trip to the store, even with puddles on the ground or active rain. In my rain riding, I've had no issues, and even getting the scooter completely soaked didn't cause any issues for us in testing. I've also appreciated just generally how low maintenance this has been. You obviously should be doing regular checks and maintenance on your scooter, but if you just left this thing in the corner when you got home and never checked anything, I feel pretty confident that it would work without issues for a really long time. The solid rear tire, drum brake, minimal wires, all-in-one throttle and display, and basic folding lock all contribute to this low maintenance approach. Fluid says this is their least returned model and also the model that comes in the least for service, with some models having over 2,000 miles on the odometer before they need a tune-up. Now let's talk about the not so good. The suspension is really decent, unless you're a heavier rider. A lot of the mileage on the scooter was put on by Paul, so I don't know if the suspension was like this from the get-go or if it sagged a bit over time, but I bottom out the rear suspension almost completely just stepping on the scooter. I'm about 205 pounds for reference. The front suspension plus front pneumatic tire does a decent job for the front of the scooter, and that is where you want most of your shock absorption anyway. Heavier riders will also find that they'll push the dolly wheels close to the ground, making them liable to hit on the pavement when going over bumps or making a tight turn. I caught one of the dolly wheels really bad on a speed bump and almost ate asphalt. I would suggest having them off for heavier riders and probably for everyone unless you find them extremely useful. The handlebars, just like all other folding handlebars, loosen up over time and require you to regularly twist them tight again. You'll notice it as you're riding around and you can usually just tighten them real quickly at a stoplight. The folding handlebars fit in with the telescoping stem and general compact theme of the scooter, so I really can't complain too much. Given its age, the Horizon has held up surprisingly well, and while the design is on the older side for an electric scooter, the $800 price keeps it extremely competitive. It remains a solid option, and as we've shown here, it's held up well over the past couple of years. The scooter fits a wide range of use cases, and you'd be hard pressed to find a comparable scooter with all the features and longevity of this one at the same price. 
As always, the link will be down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Also, let us know down in the comments what other scooters you would like to see us long-term test. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay frosty.